Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today I am revisiting a race that we've already done. This is going to be the Clubman Cup at the Goodwood Circuit. I previously did this on the normal setting and really struggled, but I've had some requests to rerun it on the hard and see if I can come up with a tuning that works. And I've found one that enable us to win by some considerable margin. So I've gone with the sports hard tyres as I did before. The suspension and differential is all normal, just bulk standard. The ECU output adjustment of 87, the ballast of two set to the middle and the power restrictor of 87. I then played around with the gearbox a little bit so that uh, we got 160 and if we go into the manual adjustment there you can see the different values I've used for each of the gears. We also had nitrous, which we managed to buy this time and we've added that to the car. And then you can see the rest of the modifications, quite a few modifications that I did to the mini. So just pause the video if you want to study those in more detail. But this is a tuning that enabled me to win this race very, very easily and by some considerable margin bearing in mind how it was the first time when we were running under normal. So straight away you can see that I'm already leaning on the nitrous button which is keeping the cars behind. We've got the little turquoisey one catching up with us slightly as we get into this corner and I just really kept that uh, nitrous on for quite a while and just kept pushing and pushing. In fact, I very quickly realised that you can pretty much push the nitrous button all the way round this lap. The other thing that I did is, with this tuning, I don't know whether the tuning helped, but I was managing to stay in higher gears and just keep pushing a lot more than I had previously. So you can see here I'm in fifth gear. We got a slight bang on that car as we went through. Uh, that was a little bit unnecessary. This was the very, very first time that I did this run with this setup and I could probably have done it again and not caught that car or just hung back a little bit um, but I was expecting the cars to come back at me as we got further into the race so I basically just kept pushing and you can see this time halfway round the first lap and we're already into first position and some one and a half seconds ahead of the second place you'll see that I'm still pushing that nitrous button even as we come into this really tight corner I only just come off the nitrous just before a break where those um, black tie marks are in the road just get it rotated around there in fourth gear back on the nitrous as we come down into this little chicane third gear through here again back onto the nitrous as soon as we can as we come up through the gears and one lap done and we've used very, very, very little of the nitrous. So I just really lent on that nitrous all the way around, just kept that button pressed. Fifth gear through here, down to fourth, just to get the car balanced and make sure that we don't run too wide into the first corner. Still not using all of the track. I wanted to make sure that we were gonna bring this car home. So up into fifth gear now, as we head towards this really fast right-hander, just getting the car settled through here, just picking up the curb, letting it run out to the left again. And then we're just thinking about this next sequence of corners. So fifth gear through here, bouncing off the rev limiter at the moment. Down into fourth just for to slow the car a little bit down and to pick up that apex. Leaving it in fourth through here, just being really brave. Back on the power as soon as we can, including the nitrous at the same time. So again, using loads and loads of nitrous through here. Down into third to get it turned in through this tight corner all the way around here. Again, just pushing on with the nitrous as soon as we can. Again, pause the video just to see where my braking points, my acceleration points and where I'm using the nitrous. Um, that will help you, I hope. But this it really is a super, super easy way of doing this particular race. We're now four and a half seconds ahead of the car behind, naturally setting fastest laps. Again, getting it slowed down through gear, down into fourth gear. This is basically the last corner before the chicane. Fourth gear all the way through there, low, really nicely balanced. Third gear for the chicane, just being careful not to whack the walls. And again, just pushing that nitrous button to get us across the line for a nice easy win and less than half the nitrous 
used. So considering I was struggling before and a lot of you are struggling with this particular race, we actually finished that one over five seconds ahead of the car behind. We didn't get, get a clean race bonus because of that clash with one of the cars, which was really unnecessary and unfortunate. But that is how I managed to do this race on the hard race difficulty settings. Very, very easy. Just put the nitrous on, just lean on it. Trust that this Mini is going to stick on the road with this particular configuration and just go for it. And I think that you will be able to win this race on the hard race difficulty settings without too much trouble whatsoever. Like I said, that was my first run after setting up the car. I was expecting to have to do a number of runs. Very, very surprised how easy this was. Maybe there's been some changes after the recent update, I'm not sure. But as I said, some people had asked me to do this particular video, so I've released it and I'm going to get back into releasing the rest of the World Circuit races over the next couple of weeks. They're all finished now. I've done all of the World Circuit races. They're all gold and uh, they will be going up one a day, Monday to Friday for the next couple of weeks. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I get a lot of people viewing my videos, but very, very few people actually subscribing and it will really help to support the channel no end as I'm trying to grow the channel. And if you are an existing subscriber, thank you ever so much for continuing to support my channel. It's greatly appreciated. For now, I'll leave you with this one and I'll see you on another video coming very soon. For now, take care. Bye bye.